Hi YouTube, where it's Moody Dreamer again. I just wanted to take the opportunity to showcase the first week of my Inktober submissions. Let's talk a little bit about uh, my experience. Uh, the list was released, I would say maybe like a couple weeks. I'm not sure, don't remember. It was released a few weeks before October even hit. So that gave a lot of artists the opportunity to get ahead of the list so that they would have stuff to um, post in time for Inktober. And for those of you who don't know what Inktober is, basically an artist came up with it and uh, it was a way for them to basically challenge themselves and to also improve their drawing skills in ink. Um, so after they developed it, they a lot of people just kind of took off with it. So a lot of different artists will use different, will make up their own lists. Um, the official Inktober list does get released though every year and a lot of artists all over the world participate. So I decided to participate this year. I just wanted to take this moment, you know, I'm not going to keep you here too long. Uh, to showcase the first seven days. Um, I try to use, you know, very people that inspire me on Instagram. Uh, and I always try and do that in my art anyway. So I will try and link all their stuff in the description box below. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, I forgot. Materials. So traditionally, definitely you're supposed to just use ink. That was the original thought, you know, to better your skill in ink. But I'm more of a color pencil artist. I love color pencils. I could probably go in all day about why I love color pencils um, and all the different brands and varieties that they offer. So I decided to use uh, ink color pencil, watercolor, um, maybe a little bit of a clear acrylic paint just to like bring out the highlights. I wanted these to be very experimental. Um, I wanted to play around and I wanted to see how fast I could get one of these done. They're also all done on five by four uh, little sheets of paper. I wanted to use a paper that was heavy enough and durable enough to take uh, water um, without, you know, warping too much. Also, you know, drawable. So I decided to go with the Strathmore Tone Blue paper. Um, the size I have is uh, 18 by 24, but I just, you know, take a sheet and I cut it down and it totally works out. <clears throat> um, Overall, I really enjoyed the paper. I didn't tape anything down, so they did warp a little bit, but you know, this is just, you know, for October submissions. I really just enjoyed how all the materials work together. By all means, here's my part. Definitely recommend using Derwent Inktense pencils because that's what I use for my ink component. Um, and I really, really enjoyed them. I mean, they work very similar to watercolor pencils. The only difference is that they're ink. Color payoff is uh, much more bold, I would say, and you know, permanent, of course. It's a little harder to move ink. Um, it was just a really good exercise. It definitely got me into a drawing mood, you know, getting up every day and drawing for yourself or just drawing just to be drawing. It definitely is a good way to improve your skills. So I highly recommend Inktober to any artist who's just looking to stay busy and keep the ideas flowing because I think that's something that a lot of artists struggle with. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Once again, I hope you guys enjoy. And hopefully, I'm thinking next week, I will do a different list from a different artist. I also just found out about Draw Drawloween. I didn't know it existed. It probably suited me a little bit more than Inktober. Uh, you know, the list is the list. So you can always, you know, take from any list and use whatever materials you want. I hope people, I hope with this video, more people will feel free to use whatever materials they want. Yes, it's 
Inktober, but the list is the list. So, you know, you can totally take the list and do your own thing with it. You know, use your materials that you love because at the end of the day, it's about doing something that's going to make you happy. You know, and if challenging yourself is going to make you happy, definitely challenge yourself. But if you're trying to do something just to, you know, make yourself feel good and pat yourself on the back and go, hey, you know, maybe I can do this. Maybe I am good at this art thing. I highly recommend that you just do whatever you want with the materials that you have. Some of the best artists use what they have, you know, not what they wish they could have. Uh, that's the thought I had going into this. I didn't buy anything new. I don't have any money to buy anything new. I hope this will inspire other artists to think the same way if they already are not. So enjoy and please, if you guys don't um, already, or if you guys are interested, no pressure please subscribe to my channel um also check me out on instagram my name again is moody dreamer and also follow me on tumblr because my tumblr is my inspiration board it's where i get a lot of images and uh, aesthetics that really inspire me um and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day bye